In standoff in Peter Maritzburg, where a group of people claiming to be military veterans are refusing to exit a low-cost housing project. The group allegedly took the housing over in 2018. The protesters say they are entitled to remain in the Allo Ridge housing complex, which was opened by former President Jacob Zuma back in 2018. That's where we find my colleague Nkosi Kona, Duma. Uh, Nkosi Kona, just paint a picture of what is happening there. Well, uh, good afternoon, Tutu. So um, there's a stand stand of here between, of course, uh, the people who are occupying the Alu Ridge complex in Peter Marisburg and uh, Red Ends. We know that there's been, a, you know, uh, since they occupied this housing, com this housing complex in 2018, governments who can issue it that because the, the Department of Human Settlements, uh, the KZN, the pro the, also the provincial department, and, um, you know, a, a, a private entity we're responsible, of course, for managing, for building and managing this particular housing complex. Uh, the military veterans are saying, of course, that they were promised housing by government and that has not yet been delivered. They're saying that the only way that they will be removed out of this particular housing complex is if, of course, they are given new housing that is, uh, you know, uh, of, of standard there is the same as this one. I just want to show you what they've done this morning. So they barricaded this particular road here uh, to do and this was because they had received word that uh, they were going to be removed from this, that red ants were going to be brought in. And I'll tell you that uh, when the red ants did come here, it was a stand-off. I'm now just going to talk to Mr. Tamsan, um, uh, who's one of the um, protest organizers, uh, organizers here, Mr. Tamsan Masole. Um, talk to us through about Lento and Yenza and Amsanji. Okay, Mr. Tamsan Masole, I come at the end of my mind, I Ogzalu <laughs> So, I want to get a number of people who are in the middle of the city. I want to get a number of people who are in the middle of the city. I want to get a number of people who are in the middle of the city. I want to get a number of people who are in the middle of the city. I want to get a number of people who are in the middle of the city. I want to get Yes, why go and go to Zuile, my bet any lend out to her and a following and in the school and Obazona to a cookie renting cool Latin as it's in a I wonder since I was in a Leona Silver and I would any so Kishan no no Miganjan. No more to go for my boom keeping that way, no niggas cut out our pool. So only longer city any a sin daula. Must Pumada send in Zed or else Sipumas see to. Because <laughs> Song is Salola, Susa Umbuso Bansuru, Abelung, Abelung, Banandas Nings, Nebas, and Sibin Abelung, Gaspin Spitskish of Abelung, who comes under my name Stagangani. I must also get a comic celebrity car, a bangane, a comic bam, comic car, a ray to do, and you must ask Pums must feed it with a bangane, a super commissar, a a a a a a a a a a a well, due to that was Mr. Samsung Masole. He's, of course, the protest organizer here, and he was just talking to us in Isizulu, of course, about what transpired here. He says that uh, Minister Lindiwe Sisulu, uh, who was at that point Minister for Human Settlements,
promised them housing and they are not going to move out of here because they feel that they're entitled to these houses. Um, if they should be moved, they should be moved to better accommodation elsewhere. He's saying that they were told that there is a move, of course, to turn this housing complex that my colleague Lungelo Zungu is, is, is showing you. Um, you know, they, that there was a move, of course, to turn this housing complex into a student residential complex. And they're saying that they're not going to move here. Uh, they were told that students pay, obviously, a higher amount compared to them. But they're saying that that is, that is actually unjust. He is saying, of course, that uh, when Red Ants came here, he is, of course, confirming to do that um, when Red Ants came here, there was uh, a tent standoff, which was just about an hour ago, where there were sounds of gunfire t happening. And indeed, we have just received, uh, you know, word here that there are people who were, uh, you know, allegedly, uh, you know, who suffered injuries as a result of that. But for now, uh, you know, I still see that uh, the, the, the members of the South African Police Service are here. The, it is now calmer than it was, I would say, an hour ago, where there was, a, you know, a chanting of, of slogans, a singing of protest songs with community members coming out here and saying that they will not be forcibly removed. Um, earlier on, when we saw the red ants coming in, you know, a large group of people, a large group of men, you know, who were also armed, um, you know, up, I say it's safe to suggest about 40 of them were, came in two different buses. The, the aim, of course, we were told was of, to facilitate the removal of people who allegedly occupy this particular housing complex behind me illegally. That did not take place. But for now, we also understand that Minister Mamuloku uh, Kubai is meeting with the KwaZulu Natal MEC for Human Settlements, Jomo Sibia, um, and as well as a representative from the Umsunduzi local municipality, where they are discussing this particular matter. But as things stand, a court order does, of course, allow uh, a government to uh, vacate people who do not have lease agreements from this particular housing complex.